there are five main types of biochemical reactions. The first type is reactions that make or break carbon-carbon bonds. It involves three main mechanisms. For both the aldol condensation and the Claisen condensation, a carb anion serves as a nucleophile and the carbon of a carbonyl group serves as an electrophile. The aldolase reaction, which converts a 6-carbon compound to two 3-carbon compounds, is basically an aldol condensation in reverse. Aldolase A is a step in glycolysis, which cleaves fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Whereas aldolase B is part of the feeder pathway in which fructose enters glycolysis. Fructose 1-phosphate is cleaved into glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Another example of aldol condensation takes place in the non-oxidated phase of pentyl phosphate pathway, in which transaldolase interconverts cetoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate with erythro-4-phosphate and fructose-6-phosphate. In the Claisen ester reaction, the carbon ion is stabilized by the carbonyl of an adjacent thiol ester. For example, in the citric acid cycle, oxaloacetate and acetyl-CoA combine to form citrate. In the glyoxylate cycle, acetyl-CoA and glyoxylate combine to form malate in a similar fashion. In both cholesterol synthesis and ketogenesis, Two acetyl CoA combines to form HMG CoA or hydroxymethylglutyryl CoA by the enzyme HMG CoA synthase. Another reaction that forms or breaks carbon carbon bonds is the decarboxylation of beta keto acid, in which a carbon ion is formed as carbon dioxide leaves. Examples include pyruvate dehydrogenase, which converts pyruvate to acetyl CoA. It takes place in aerobic condition in between glycolysis and citric acid cycle. Alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase converts alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA, which takes place during the citric acid cycle. Branched-chain alpha-ketoacid dehydrogenase catalyzes the catabolism of branched-chain amino acids, including isoleucine, phthalene, and leucine. Finally, acetoacetate decarboxylase is involved in the ketone body production, which converts acetoacetate to acetone. Oxidation reduction reactions involve the transfer of electron between molecules. Oxidation involves losing electron, whereas reduction involves gaining electrons. Oxidation reduction reactions involving oxygen include catalase, which catalyzes the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. Since hydrogen peroxide is a reactive oxygen species, Catalase is a very important enzyme to protect the cell from oxidative damage. Superoxide dismutase, or SOD, also protects the cell from oxidative damage by converting the superoxide radical, which is a byproduct of oxygen metabolism, into ordinary molecule oxygen and hydrogen peroxide, which is then converted to water and oxygen by catalase. Cytochrome C oxidase is also known as complex 4 of the electron transport chain in our mitochondria. It reduces oxygen into water while using that free energy to pump protons into the intermembrane space, contributing to an electrochemical potential that can be used to synthesize ATP. Monooxygenases reduces two atoms of dioxygen into one hydroxyl group and one water molecule. On the other hand, dioxygenases reduces dioxygen into carboxyl groups. Lastly, glutathione peroxidase catalyzes the reduction of hydrogen peroxide into two water molecules and the oxidation of two glutathiones into glutathione disulfide. By reducing hydrogen peroxide, this enzyme also functions in protecting us from oxidative damage. Oxidation reduction reactions that don't involve oxygen include dehydrogenase, which oxidizes the compound by reducing NAD into NADH. It is the most common oxidation reaction in our metabolic pathway, including glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase in glycolysis and alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase in the citric acid cycle, as well as beta-hydroxyacylcholate dehydrogenase in beta-oxidation of fatty acids. On the other hand, reductases reduces a compound by oxidizing NADPH into NADP. It is involved in fatty acid biosynthesis as well as cholesterol biosynthesis. Free radical reactions involve homolytic cleavage of covalent bonds to generate free radicals. 
Examples include L-methylmalonyl-CoA mutase, which converts L-methylmalonyl-CoA to succinyl-CoA with the coenzyme vitamin B12, which involves the COBOL radical. It is an important step in funneling all-chain fatty acids and several amino acids into the citric acid cycle. Photolyases use flavin radicals to repair thymine dimers caused by exposure to UV light. Ribonucleotide reductases catalyzes the formation of the oxyribonucleotides from ribonucleotides, which involves tyrosine radical. The fourth type of biochemical reactions are internal rearrangements, which redistribute electrons without a change in the overall oxidation state of the molecule, including three main classes of enzymes. Isomerases convert a molecule from one isomer to another. Examples include phosphoglucose isomerase in glycolysis, which interconverts glucose 6-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate, as well as phosphate mannose phosphate, which interconverts fructose 6-phosphate and mannose 6-phosphate, which is part of the pathway of how mannose enters glycolysis. Triose phosphate isomerase is another enzyme of glycolysis that interconverts dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, as well as with glyceraldehyde from fructose catabolism. A mutase catalyzes the movement of a functional group from one position to another within the same molecule. The previously mentioned L-methylmalonyl-CoA mutase converts L-methylmalonyl-CoA to succinyl-CoA, which are structural isomers to each other. The primerases are enzymes that catalyze the inversion of stereochemistry chemistry in molecules. Examples include ribulose 5-phosphate of primerase, which converts ribulose 5-phosphate to cellulose 5-phosphate during the pentose phosphate pathway, as well as methylmalonyl-CoA epimerase, which interconverts L and D methylmalonyl-CoA. Internal rearrangements involve intramolecular group transfers. The last type of biochemical reactions involve intermolecule group transfers which are group transfer between two molecules. Kinases catalyze the transfer of phosphate group from the high-energy ATP. Examples include hexokinase from glycolysis and phosphokinase A, B, C, and G present in the signal transduction pathways. Methyl transferases catalyze the transfer of methyl groups, which contains S-adenosyl methionine as methyl donor. It converts norepinephrine to epinephrine and also methylates DNA and RNAs. Glycosyl transferases catalyze the transfer of sugar molecules. It usually involves uridine diphosphate, such as UDP glucose and UDP galactose, which are involved in polysaccharide biosynthesis. Amino transferases, also known as transaminases, transfer an amino group to a keto acid to form new amino acids, such as between alanine and pyruvate, aspartate and oxaloacetate, glutamate and alpha-ketoglutarate. It involves the coenzyme PLP, which stands for pyridoxal 5-phosphate, derived from vitamin B6. Lastly, acyl transferases transfer acyl groups, such as malonyl acyl transferase, which is a key enzyme in fatty acid synthesis, and LCAT, which stands for lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase, which converts free cholesterol into cholesterol ester, which transfer fat molecules around body in high-density lipoprotein.